ASEAN China in fight after Chinese vessels sink in Vietnam, South China Sea tensions China and the US are once fight over the South China Sea after a Washington diplomat questioned Beijing's sincerity and plans to agree a code of conduct as Xi Jinping withdraws vessel from Vietnamese waters. Fears of armed have been sparked by Chinese President Xi Jinping and his country's aggressive movements in the contested waters of the South China Sea. Beijing is trying to patch up deteriorating relations in the region by agreeing a code of conduct with its neighbors. However, a topless diplomat this month expressed skepticism about China's sincerity in negotiating a code of conduct with both. David R. Stilwell said China's ruling Communist Party is pursuing a repressive alternative vision for the region that seeks to reorder it in its favor and has put Beijing in a position of strategic competition with all who seek to preserve a free and open order of sovereign nations within a rules order. Stillwell added that a code of conduct would be harmful to the region and freedom of the seas if China uses it to legitimize its egregious behavior and unlawful maritime claims. This comes after Xi Jinping's administration unleashed on Washington in multiple defiant statements in Beijing last week. General Wei Feng said we will not relinquish a single inch of territory passed down from our forefathers and also indirectly accused Washington of interfering with other countries' affairs. The foreign ministry in Beijing also waded into the disputes with Washington, saying on Friday that the U.S. should focus on its own domestic problems such as gun violence rather than condemning Beijing after us Vice President Mike Pence made a speech this week that was critical of the rival superpower. Pence last Thursday accused China of curtailing rights and liberties in Hong Kong and blasted us company Nike and the National Basketball Association for falling in line with Beijing in a disagreement over free speech. Pence also joined Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in condemning Beijing's treatment of Uyghur Muslims, stating that in Xinjiang, the Communist Party has imprisoned more than a million Chinese Muslims, including Uyghurs, in internment camps, where they endure around-the-clock brainwashing. Pompeo said earlier this month that when the state rules absolutely, it demands its citizens worship government, not God. That's why China has put more than one million Uyghur Muslims in internment camps and is why it throws Christian pastors in jail. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hu Chunying said Pence's speech was full of lies and prejudice, and that it had made China strongly indignant. She added, a handful of politicians with Pence at their head have confused black with white on these issues, making irresponsible remarks and creating rumors to slander others.
She also said that Bat Pence is easily arrogant, leaving relations between the two countries in tatters as trade war disputes continue. One possible cause for short-fused rants coming out of Beijing could be the humiliating withdrawal of a Chinese oil vessel from Vietnamese waters as the two countries continue their role over the Vanguard Bank region. A Chinese oil survey vessel, the Haiyang Z8 had been embroiled in a tense standoff with Vietnamese vessels in the South China Sea, but left Vietnamese-controlled waters on Thursday after more than three months, marine data showed. The two countries have a long history of skirmishes and violence in the region, with war breaking out in 1979. The ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, will convene this week in Thailand to discuss diplomatic solutions to persisting tension over the resource-rich waters of the South China Sea.